What's up fellas? Let's talk about self-doubt and how to get rid of it. All right, so I'm a guy, or my job is to give advice to people, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I, I tell guys how to get in better shape, boost testosterone levels, win, become a better man, and so forth. So having that as my job, it obviously comes with self-doubt when I put out content and when I put myself out there. Because I'm putting out content telling people what to do or telling people how to improve themselves and it may have come from research, it may have come from my own life, I may know it works, but there's still a part of me that sometimes thinks, who the hell am I to give advice? And so how do I combat this? This is the best way I can go through self-doubt because I deal with it, everyone deals with it. First thing you have to do, you have to understand that it's a lie. It's absolute bullshit. When you can step back and see the logic in the doubt or the lack of logic in the doubt, you can then proceed without it. So let's use an example as, let's say I want to run a live event or yeah, let's say I want to run a live event. The self doubt can be, well, what if I put this live event out there and no one shows? All right, so let's write that down. If no one shows to this live event, is that actually the worst thing that can happen? It'll be a little embarrassing. Is it gonna ruin my life? Hell no. Uh, it, it's not as bad as what you think it will be. If I actually put out the live event, say I've got a e email list of 60,000 people, I've got a few hundred thousand people coming to the sites every month. Is that logical for no one to show up to this live event? No, that's not logical. So this fear that I have of of putting out this or, or putting on this live event, booking the room, making it happen, uh, no one showing up, it's an illogical fear, but even if that worst thing did happen, it's not the end of the world. So first two things to do. One, write down the illogical conclusion that you're coming to and accept it. So let's say no one shows up. It's not the worst thing in the world. I've accepted it, so now I can move on. Two, understand that it's illogical. Look at the logical conclusion, the logical worst thing that can happen. The logical worst thing that can happen is only a few guys show up, but that's not that bad. A few guys show up, I can still uh, give value to even fewer people and they'll probably get more from it. So that's actually not a bad thing. I might lose some money by booking the room and only a few guys show up, but who cares? It's just money. I'll make that back in the future. All right, this is the most important thing with self-doubt. Self-doubt comes from a lack of confidence or a lack of belief in your ability. So what is the best thing you can do to overcome self-doubt? It's to simply get better. It's to work harder, to improve and persist, and to prove yourself uh, right in that you are as you are as good as you want to be. Most uh, self-doubt, and I, you can hear Teddy, Teddy whining below me. He's, he's crying. He wants to go out. Just took him for a run. Motherfucker. Anyway, most videos about self-doubt will talk about belief in the self and how you have to really believe who you are and all this, whatever. The reality is, if you're great at what you do, you are going to believe that you are great at what you do. So become great at what you do. Whatever the focus of the self-doubt is, become great at it. If you have self-doubt about talking to women because you're, you're overweight and that's a really big source of your lack of confidence, first of all, look at a guy like Tony Soprano. Look at, look at evidence of, of very confident guys, even though he's a fictional character, who, who own shit, who run shit, who are the alpha male types. Second of all, get in shape work your ass off, build a better body, and remove that source of unconfidence or a lack of confidence. Yeah, Teddy's, you're fucking with everything, buddy. So, that's the biggest one. That's the one that you won't hear anywhere else because it's the truth. Uh, I had a lack of confidence with uh, earning. So, when I was in my early 20s, I didn't earn a lot of money I didn't come from a lot of money, so I had a lack of confidence with money. Then, I had a lack of confidence. I didn't think I could earn a lot of money because I had never done it. 
Then I set a goal for myself to earn X amount of dollars, earned it. Now I have confidence that I can earn money and that, that, that goal of what I want the business to be has obviously increased. So now I want to, to, to build it and so forth. But that initial lack of confidence was proven wrong by me proving that source incorrect. So whatever your source of a lack of confidence is, write it down and prove that bastard wrong. First of all, uh, self-doubt is a lie. Second of all, write down your, your logical, illogical conclusion and accept it. Third, write down the logical conclusion and accept that. Fourth, whatever the source of your self-doubt is, get after it and overcome that source of self-doubt. If you're fat, get ripped. If you're broke, make money. If you're, if you're afraid, get into a boxing gym. Learn how to spar, learn how to defend yourself. That will conquer a lot of the fear you have uh, in other areas of life as well. So what's number five? Number five has to do with why we are, why a lot of us lack or, or have self-doubt. And a lot of us have self-doubt because uh, we think other people are watching us. We think they doubt us. We think they hate us. We think they uh, are against us. The reality is, most people don't care. Most people don't give a rat's ass. They're worrying about their own shit. They have their own insecurities. They have their own things they want to tackle. They're not, they don't care about what you look like. They don't care about what you're trying to pursue. They don't care about what you can or can't do. So forget other people. Help other people. Bring other people along on your ride. Aid them in their quest. Don't let your opinion of what their opinion may be deter you from doing what you want to do. When you go out for dinner, and you want to dress nice, you want to look nice, who are you looking nice for? It better be for your lady, it better be because you have pride in how you look or in how you carry yourself, it better not be for the other people in that restaurant. They don't give a rat's ass. No matter what you're trying to accomplish, no matter what your self-doubt is, it cannot come from the opinion or from your opinion of what you think other people's opinions may be. That's a tongue twister, but it's not even other other people's opinions that need to is the source of our self doubt. Quite often, it's it's our opinion of what other people's opinions may be. It it's totally subjective. It's subjective on top of subjective. There's no objectivity in it. There's no logic in it. There's no truth in it. Let's talk about the truth. You have potential, which is important. You have talent. You have an ability somewhere in in some aspect of your life. Now this is the most important. You also have the capacity to work harder, to get up earlier, to persist longer. Success, winning, whatever you want to define it as, isn't going to come quickly. Teddy, you want to be in the video bud? Is that what you want? There you go. Success, winning, and and being a badass, being the man, it's not going to come quickly. The build it, business you want to build is not going to come quickly. So you have the capacity to persist. Sorry about that. You have the capacity to persist. You have the capacity to work hard. You have the capacity to get after it. Therefore, in time, you have the ability to prove your self-doubt wrong. And that's what you have to do. Write down what the, the, the focus of your self-doubt, the illogical conclusion, um, practice get better at this area in your life become a winner not just in feeling not just in 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 your mental toughness but in reality really win become a winner develop the skills the the confidence the ability to create the life you want to create to become the man you want to become and then forget about people's opinions they don't matter don't let your idea of what other people might think deter you from moving forward. Lastly, get after it. Take an action step right now. Uh, let's conquer self-doubt through action, not through thinking differently, not through some hippie nonsense. Do it through action. Get after it. With that, I've got something for you and it's along the lines of conquering self-doubt. It's an ebook that is helping a lot of guys and it's for free click the link down below it's called be the man guys are really getting after it with this book because 
Uh, it's showing guys, and it's through all my own life lessons. I've gone from a skinny, uh, broke, unconfident fella. Not that I'm the, the, the man or anything, but I'm a hell of a lot more confident. I'm, I'm, I'm moving toward who I want to become every day. And, and the lessons in this, this book, Be the Man, or How to Be the Man, will help you out a lot. So click that link down below, get after it, and let me know what you think of it, and, and take the action steps we talked about in this in this video. I'll put the five things down below, and uh, yeah, click that link, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.